process. And so here's the second step, and we, we'd like you to try using it after you've done the first step. The second step is that anyone is free in your circle to ask a question of clarification to somebody else about what they said. Only questions of clarification. Uh, I encourage those to be open-ended questions, not yes or no questions. Not, well, why did you say that? But questions that are uh, driven by the motivation to understand more fully something that somebody else said. For instance, I would say to Nancy, Nancy, I think I heard you say this, but I, help me understand. Say something else about that. I mean, you got to really listen to be able to ask those kind of questions. Um, instead of just, well, I don't know why you said that. I don't agree with that. That's not part of the process. <laughs> See, these questions of clarification are not designed to trap somebody. You know, you're not the Pharisees trying to trick Jesus. You're really trying to understand more of what they're saying. So that's what this second round is. And, and it, it goes kind of free form. Anybody can ask by a name. question of somebody else. But again, you're, you're uh, addressing them by name. And you can do that as long as you like. Question over here. I may have missed this if you said it, and if you did, I'll apologize. When can we ask the question of clarification? Is it after everyone has shared? After, after everyone has had an opportunity, okay. has been invited uh, right, to, once or twice, depending on whether they passed the So it's after. not after Mike has shared That's his, correct. it's after the group has, everyone's That's had the right. opportunity. The whole, the whole okay, right. any questions about process? Betty? The, the 10 seconds, is that after it's passed to you? No, after you've spoken. Oh. After you've spoken. Then and, and, then, you and then you say, then you I can say, say, yeah, the, the, the speaker, you say, I advise so and so. The one who is speaking finishes speaking. The whole group takes 10 seconds of silence. The one who's just finished speaking then invites the next person. So I'm going to pose the question, and then I just want you to sit for a minute or so before you begin the inviting, so that you really take the question in. How might our lives as communities of faith be changed if rather than fear and scarcity, we lived into gratitude? How might our lives as communities of faith be changed if rather than fear 